Hey, it's Dave from the Redneck Garage. Well, I'm out here in the garage. I'm having to tape in here because it's so stinking windy out there. But we're going to be working on the Jeep today, trying to connect some grounds up and see if I can get the dash to come on. That would be super cool. I can continue on putting the radio in and everything else. It's been a pretty exciting week here this week for me. I got my check from FCA Chrysler Corporation for $16. So I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty happy about that. You know, this is like victory. I may frame this thing. I don't really need... Uh, to worry about the $16, but this shows that sometimes corporations do care. Next thing is, if you remember back, uh, back maybe half a year ago, I had a video where Randy last year abused Shelby, and here's a little clip of that. Shelby, attack. <laughs> attack him, Shelby. Get him. Get him. Oh, look, she's scared. Shelby, girl. Look, she went inside. You scared her. <laughs> He's so mean. Um, Shelby had puppies this week, and here's a little clip of her puppies and her, uh, and we're just really having a lot of fun with that. Sweet Shelby girl. She's pregnant. She's fat as a house. Pretty soon we'll have some sweet little Shelby puppies. You a sweet girl? Yes, you are. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. As she's gotten bigger, she's gotten a lot lazier, and, and she, her stomach's really big, so shouldn't be long before we have some shelty puppies that are worth money. <laughs> and there's the first baby. Shelby's got her first baby. There she is. Yes. Oh, goodness gracious. And we're having a lot of fun with that. I realize that um, as much work as it is for us to, you know, you got to keep her fed and everything else, it's a lot more work for her. And it's amazing for me to see just that instinct of a mama uh, with a dog as far as how she takes care of her puppies and everything. It's super cool. And she had six. Uh, we thought she had four. And uh, we thought she was done. And we were like, awesome. And then Jennifer looks down and she says, wait a minute, there's five in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then uh, about 20 minutes later, she goes, wait, there's six. <laughs> So we had six puppies, Shelby did, and, and so we've been staying up a little bit late with them. Uh, she's doing great. I'm going to be working on the Jeep, working on the wiring diagram, going back and checking all the grounds, and I know that there's three or four that aren't hooked up, and then once that's done, we're going to see if uh, we get a little power to this thing. So let's get going. Now I'm going to go ahead and unhook the battery, my Optima in there. Um, here's two of the major grounds. This goes to the starter, and that goes to the back of the motor. So I need to go ahead and get those hooked up, because... It's not a magic battery. You have to have a ground for it to work. <laughs> One of the things I realize is that these battery terminals are shot. And I can either replace all the cables. And, you know, the cables are in good shape. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, so I've ordered a military spec grade uh, battery replacement, blah, 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 uh, for about 30 bucks, And that'll be a video on how to put those on. Uh, those will look really good and should be good to go on this. So these are going to get replaced. They're loose and dirty and that could be part of the problem but I don't think it's all the problem. So you can see that there's no ground strap going from here to here and I'm pretty sure there should have been one and here's the ground strap coming off the battery and all of this should connect up to a head bolt um, on all the other 2.5s that I've seen and this doesn't actually go over that so I'm gonna have to make that a little bigger and hook a ground strip up from here to the body because I took my uh, tester and I don't have any ground going from um, onto the body itself so that's going to be the main issue. I'm going to go ahead and make me up a cable going from here to here and that should uh, pretty much end that problem. So I went to Advance Auto Parts and I wanted a short just a straight cable and I wanted a ground cable and all I had was like this one with the with the end on it so I'm going to have to make just a connector cable for the ground wire and that's cool I've got my lug here and I'm going to heat it up fill it up with solder and then uh, you just stick it in let it cool so that's what we're going to be doing right here right here right now just take a minute <clears throat> okay I'm just going to heat up the uh, lug for the battery terminal You should be able to just put it in there and it start melting once it gets hot enough. And it's hot enough, it's starting to go down in there. You want to just keep the heat on it to keep it liquid.
Okay, and it's almost full of solder. And I'll just go ahead and stick that down in there. This is a ground wire. I'm not worried about anything coming out of there. We'll let it cool off and we should be able to install it. Make sure it's good and should be in good shape. Awesome. Okay, so I got the uh, cable coming over from the battery to this post, uh, which is a stud on the uh, head bolt. Then I've got a washer and then another cable that I made up here going from the body to that. So for sure the body is grounded now. So to test your grounds, you want to hook up your tester to your hot lead on your battery here. And then when you go to a ground, it should light up. Now before I wasn't getting any ground on the body. Now the obviously the engine is grounded. And when I go to the cab, I should get a ground when I touch this. So now the cab is grounded. Awesome. I'll try it again now that I got a ground going to the cab. Nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, so I still gotta keep troubleshooting to see what the heck's going on with this. Frustrating. Alright, so I got a glimpse of life out of it. The uh, dome lights work, radio lights work, all those are plugged in right. That looks great. And, if I turn on my... Those work great. On my sound pods. Got a little light. No horn yet. At least I got the dash lights to come on. Awesome. I had to play something from my buddy Gary Forsythe who comes over here, you know, Big Gary. He wrote this song. If I play something that's commercially available, then it'll kill me. But what I did find out after all this time is that I've got one power supply coming into the ignition switch that doesn't power up. Once I get that figured out, I'm just going to have to backtrace it. It's a fuse or a relay or something. But I've got it jumpered out here. And my radio works, the blower works. Everything seems to be working great. I can hear the uh, uh, blend air door moving. You can see that the uh, speedometer is at zero, zero, zero. So I am excited. Got all the grounds worked out. Um, so one step closer to getting this thing started. Okay, so nothing can be more aggravating than uh, wiring sometimes, but I do got power going to it. I just got to backtrack that wire. I'm going to look at the wiring diagram. I'll figure it out. I thought you want to see one of Shelby's puppies. This is a little girl. She's four days old, and uh, she is a doll. They don't have their eyes open yet, but they will here in probably three or four more days. She'll have her eyes open, and then she'll be for sale. <laughs> but they are do they are just sweet as they can be. She's weak. Um, Shelby's being a great mama, and I'm spending a little bit of time trying to help take care of her. But I'm going to go put her back in her pen with mama before mama has to come apart. But anyway, I'm super excited about the electrical system. We figured out all the grounds. It sent, uh, I checked all the grounds coming back. Radio's working. Dash is coming on. I've got that one power wire coming into the ignition switch that's not feeding. So figure that out, and we're good to go. Uh, start working on the gas tank so we can get this thing cranked up. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.